Hello, my name's Artemis, and yes, here we are again with another scaled down video. This one is a list video. Now, obviously, we are big busy right now doing things and being places and stuff. So this was scheduled quite far in advance. So I've probably forgotten that I even made this video. But yes, I was thinking and reminiscing about my early days in the fandom and thinking about the things that I miss and also the things that I really don't miss. Like the things that... Yeah, and wouldn't you know it, they just nicely organized into five of each in a top 10 video because I had to keep it to that sort of format because I guess it's neat and tidy. And that's exactly what we're going into this week. So I'll just stop rambling and we'll get into it now. Sometimes I do miss the naivete of the fandom itself, of not really knowing what it's all about, not seeing it all exposed before me. Um, this can come in some of the, you know, it's nice to discover something and keep learning about it, but also, you know, I came into it before all of the zoophilia stuff came out and, you know, ignorance is bliss. Sometimes it's very nice to just live in a lie, a comfortable fantasy. <laughs> I really don't miss the endless fucking travel and being reliant on public transport. Like, at the time, you just sort of get used to it because it's the price that you pay for these things. But holy shit, the thought now that I would fucking get a train every Friday to then walk for half an hour to the joint, only to be there for like two and a half, three hours and then have to reverse that journey Oh God, I fucking love having a car now, but oh, I don't miss that and the travel, trying to figure out how to get to a convention that's at the complete other end of the country and shit like that. I don't fucking miss that. Now, I know what to do. I know how to do it, okay? And it's not scary because I've done it and I'm happy with that. I do miss the wonder of joining something like this, you know, consistently, you know, putting just a little bit more of yourself out there and having it accepted and everybody being free and open and just this journey of coming into something that you've just not had in your life. Now, this, the good thing about this is that it becomes the norm, obviously. That becomes just normal for you in this fandom, but then you just, you notice it a bit less. You take it for granted because it's not always as evident. And I kind of miss that realization of, oh my God, this is really good. I really don't miss stumbling into fucking drama. I, I, I'm quite good at spotting it and dodging it these days. Anytime I see it trending on Twitter, I've got no idea what it's about and I'm happy with that. But fuck me, I really don't miss just randomly entering into this big shitstorm that someone has with someone else. And despite the fact that it's a personal issue, apparently it has to involve everybody and everyone needs to be aware i don't miss that i'm glad that that's fucking gone that's a that was a shit part oh fuck that zero stars do not recommend having all of the firsts in front of me you know the excitement of your first convention what's it going to be like will it live up to all of the videos that i've watched all of that shit the excitement of looking for fursuit makers and thinking who's going to be the first person to bring this all to life you know the excitement of the first art commission and you know i was too scared to ask for like paws and stuff but look at me now dad you know and it's just you've got it all laid out in front of you and it's so exciting to delve into it all and you know the more you accomplish it the happier you feel but then you got less of those firsts to explore it's a shame really don't miss the pure panic of waiting for a fursuit to arrive like holy shit that was the worst month of my life was waiting for this to come through the post every single day coming home from work is it here yet no it's not that was just oh i do not miss that that was the most anxious actually well no i topped it on the anxiety scale but oh that was a bad time but now that everything's here i'm kind of happier and hell I, if i get another suit i gotta go through it again but as it stands right now i don't miss those times Ultimately, I miss the fantasies as well. Like you always fantasize about what the fandom's gonna bring to your life and how it's gonna go. And oh my God, maybe I'll live in a big furry household with other people and maybe it will do this. Maybe it could launch my career, all of that joy and whatnot. And that never really goes away. You just sort of learn that mm, it's probably not gonna work out like that. But when you come into this thing, it feels like such a momentous shift in your life and you know, anything could happen and everything could happen. And I miss that feeling. It was a good feeling. I really don't miss the deep attachment I had to just so much and how thin I spread myself across everything. And that's with people and things. And ultimately, it just kind of felt like I was trying to keep a thousand plates spinning in the air at once. 
and that just doesn't work and eventually they start coming down and crashing and smashing and I don't miss that I, I don't miss trying to keep my circle as big as possible I, I like keeping it small and valuable and you know not living or dying depending on who is around and how I can be an important part of them it's it's now just the people that really matter you know it's so easy to get overwhelmed and want to be every single person you meet's friend and that ain't sustainable that's not doable it just isn't and I, I don't miss having that pressure on myself and I missed the fucking humour back then as well. All of the jokes and the memes that I understood and the songs, the music and fuck Vine. Oh, I miss Vine being like a hub of the fandom. You know, discovering fursuiters and pop your furs all through Vine and wanting to emulate that. Fucking people that you just don't really see creating content anymore. You know, like Trance Husky, Cosmic Woofy, all of that. Like, I miss those days. Those were good days. I mean, they weren't. I was a depressed, miserable piece of shit who hadn't done anything about his mental health. But hell, the humour was good, so there was that. And finally, if there's one thing I really don't miss, it's uh, that shocking, crippling realisation that uh, all of the fantasies you've built about the fandom, the places, the people, the themes, all of it, is all lies. It's just a comfortable fantasy you've built up. I really don't miss realizing that I was just wearing rose tinted glasses the whole time and that uh, all of those nice festive flags turned out to be just red flags that I should have looked at and gone oh dear avoid like that was a bad time I mean it was good in terms of it allowed me to grow and learn but whew, I, I don't miss that process one bit quite happy to be a bit wiser and further down the trail now well, but yes, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video and hopefully you might even reconcile with some of these, you know, reminiscing back on your time in the fandom. What kind of things do you miss and not miss about those days? Because, you know, it's kind of chalk and cheese. It can go quite a, quite a de distance uh, when it comes to it. But yes, thank you for watching our little pre-made scheduled video series here that's all scaled down. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy it and maybe you'll check out the merch and the patron but i really can't be bothered to plug them right now so i will just say thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs>